Hey everyone, welcome back, and we have another turn for you here in the tournament finals. Uh, it's turn 101. I've got Maryland with me. Howdy, gamers. And uh, so this turn was happening around the time when the bot went down over Christmas for about a month, and then was having issues coming back online, and then like turn backups and stuff didn't work. I ended up not uh, being able to uh, duplicate and keep the omniscience turn. So I got uh, Sai, who's been keeping his turns to send me his 101, so we have something to show you guys. Um, but it's kind of cool, because we get to see what, what all Sai did. Um, so this will be a... Yeah, we'll get to see... We'll get to see how many assassinations he did in his remotes, and... Yeah, you're right, that's right. pretty cool. And I think it's a kind of chill oh time, God. and you remember Sai's like, people... Last episode we were talking about... Um, Ashdod and Ulm were going to go on Vanheim, just as Vanheim right. was about to kick the fish back in the pond. And their th theory was that Sai will keep Pelagia in check. And Sai, like, wasn't really fighting Pelagia very much. You know, he was, like, poking him here and there. Um, so, anyway, that's kind of, like, the context of this, and we'll get to see what all is happening here. Uh... So, in terms of the spells, he's casting Force of Darkness once, Infernal Crusade once. Oh, no, Infernal Forces... Okay, so this is the spell that gives you Fiends of Darkness. This is the spell that gives you Fiends. Uh, the Devils. This is the spell that gives you the Knights. And, and, and four Vampire Lords. Ooh, four. Oh, yeah, there are four Vampire Lords. And, and Infernal Tempest three times. Mm. Three times, yeah. So that's what? Uh, I, that's yeah. 21, 21 plus yep. Storm Demons. Okay, so not a lot of spells being cast, but a lot of expen or, but expensive spells being cast. Well, that's um, hundreds oh, of yeah. Blood Slaves, three, four hundred. That's, uh, I mean, we could... Oh, he's got the move orders in here. Yeah, I was going to be like, we could do turn from scratch and see how many, because it's probably... Oh... It's. I think it's about four hundred right yeah. off the top. Well, he's got two hundred and twenty-six. <laughs> we can't tell how many he yeah. makes a turn. Well, yeah, we kind of get a feel for it. Seventeen. Look at how well, many we, he's we making. We could look down I'm here. I mean, we could count four hundred. Oh yeah. That's what I mean. That's so, what I mean. I'm just glancing at it. One. That's three four hundred. I mean, I well, I have to actually sit here and count, but yeah, I mean, it's at least three hundred. Well, that's just a quick glance. I'm looking at an average of about 50 yeah. for what looks like about 20 provinces. And, and this is what, I mean, this is not uh, surprising, really. I, I mean, this is good, but this is what a developed blood power looks like in the late game. We're at turn 100, you know, this is what, what happens. So Yeah, well, with, with 30 or 40 provinces um, or more, you need a lot of provinces, but... Well, he's a big, a big nation. So... Yeah, and he's using, um, on that topic, though, uh, when we get a chance, we could just look at one of the bigger ones and see what he's hunting with. I think it's all going to be vampire Oh, lords. yeah, we'll go uh, sneak around and look. Oh, Curry. So, yeah, this guy, I'm assuming, was casting flames from the sky or something, and he's got an anti... Oh, he doesn't have returning. Hmm. Doesn't, doesn't doesn't have the ritual up? No. No. Or the he ring. Doesn't have, uh, doesn't have a ring or the ring. Okay, he's getting horror marked. Yeah. Oof. Okay. Rage. Rage is not the spell you want to cast. It doesn't. It's... No. But you can't script, so. Well, yeah, I know. Oh, when he oh, goes yeah. into melee. Yeah. Oh. Whoops. Yeah, that's minus a lot of gems. Uh, oh, he cast Dome of Flaming Death with this. So that was what he cast, not Flames from the Sky. Oh. Okay. Oh, so yeah, he's got uh, Forest Dome and Dome of Arcane Warding. What happened? Why didn't Dome of Flaming... Oh, oh because he died. He, yeah, so you've got to get... Yeah, I forgot right Dome spells are usually tied to the caster, so... That yes, makes holding are. domes up pretty hard because you have to get the dome up and keep the caster alive. That's right. Um, like flaming death, you don't overcast. So right. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. The ones you don't overcast are the like a, uh, air and nature. 
and maybe fire. And let's still is fire. Fire, I think. Double check. I can look it up. Let uh, me look up domes. Mm. Um, air. Yeah. Arcane wording, you got to put extra gems in. So it's uh, the more magic to... gems you put. No, fire, yeah, yeah. the fire one, you do need to put oh. extra ones. You do. Yeah, you're right. So it's just forest and yeah. air. I think, yeah, I think don't. that's right. Okay, so those are easy, you know, relatively low risk under astral corruption, but all the other ones are fairly high yeah. risk. It, probably the most efficient way to do them is to probably 10 gems over and then just recast. 10 gems over and recast. And especially yeah. at this point in time, well, 10 yeah. turns, right? Like at this point in time, if this game goes more than 10 more turns. Uh, yeah. Um, it's uh it's i mean we're i think it could go to like 130 but it could also end at 110 it's i think it's a little hard to say but what what will happen is yeah. if things can start moving well they'll be hard to undo you know like if pangea starts getting out of control that's one of the ways the game could end you know like if he conquers another nation like if he conquered Alm or if he conquered ashdod and he does it quickly um he, the game could kind of move into its final state but yeah the snowballing the snowballing effect would would yeah. move it forward but but you know we've got the pelagia the spoiler which is always going to be there trying to spoil anybody from getting too far ahead well his dryads are hitting up against ugly yeah, stuff this is not this is not easy but that's cheap a couple of swarms you know Yeah. Yeah, swarms just aren't going to no. cut it. Um, that being said, and you might be like, okay, well, you know, whatever. It's just a dryad with a few gems. Well, I wonder if he gets frozen hearted here. Yeah. My spellcasting AI making dryads not OP. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, this Wraith Lord, what did he do? Oh, he got just attacked from harm marked. I don't think he actually summoned any or cast anything. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Um, but yeah, no, I was going to say, you know, losing these dryads, you might be like, whatever. That is like all of his income in dryads he lost just about. He only has 600 income in, uh, or 500 income. Well, you're you right. Know? Yeah, so, you're right. So so it does hurt It a hurts a lot. Bit. Yeah, he can't, uh, he can only afford mm. to make maybe three dryads a turn. So, you know. Maybe at this point in time, what he wants to do, it might be worth summoning, uh, what are they called? The the blood seducers. Oh, the second I don't know. It, it might be the point in time where it just doesn't matter if you uh, if you seduce. Well, I think that's actually really interesting to think about because, and we'll watch this as we talk. On one hand, your seducers are more valuable because like, if you lose them, oh God, you can't replace them. Uh, on the other hand, right. it's going to be hard for the enemy to have, like, a lot of commanders. Like, I feel like commander numbers, as we go forward, is going to start shrinking. But then the counter to that is the quality of what you're seducing is going yeah. up. Yeah. So, That's therefore, you're going to lose more seducers. So, it's yeah. kind of a... It's a difficult balance. I mean, I'm just saying that at this phase of the game, with all of the big-ass, heavily-geared yeah. monstrosities around... You know, your chance of your seducers doing just what happened is bumping up against stuff that is just too tough. Yeah. It has has gone up. Yeah. So, you know, do you gear the seducers? Well, it's hard to make more gear because you run the risk of everything forging yep. dying. I mean, astral corruption is just it's just a big fuck. It you really is. Well for everybody. Yeah. I feel like that's not the only I mean, fuck you up good. right now. We've got <laughs> Armageddon. No, but, <laughs> We've got... Yeah, yeah, I just meant that, you know, the nature of Astral... I've always been skeptical of using it too much because, you know, it seems to cause yourself just about as much pain as everybody else. It's pretty anti-fun, I would say. Um, yeah, I think there are situations where it's it like the min-max thing to do in a game, but it is not fun. It was a lot better in older versions of the game where returning worked uh, reliably. Oh, yeah. 
and you could script to returning. Yeah. So, you know, if you were an astral blood nation, like I used to use it quite a lot as, uh, or survived it really well as, as astral blood nations like Bandar and Patala. Yeah. What in the fuck? Marilyn, look at this. So, He's using scouts as a solar vortex battery. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, he had him. You know, if you got yeah, him around. Yeah, he's sitting around. Why not? Why not? That's kind of funny. This. Yeah, well, you know, you do what you could do. It doesn't look like they're getting hit. Uh, okay, I, I, don't, I don't think, I don't think bit, the soul uh, vortex is part. Oh, there it goes. It took a one right there. Uh, and then he ran. Yeah. Oh, and ran away. I hope he got a okay. little bit right there. Yeah, but look at the look at the fatigue on that. Yeah, vampire. it's super it's high. No, like it's zero. it was really high. Yeah, it's oh, over a hundred. Oh, okay. Mm. Um, I would rate that as not super it's effective. Not quite yeah. enough batteries. Yeah, but he won. But he won. That little raid. And uh, Pangea does have a scout here. So this is the force that Pelagia. I mean that uh, Vanheim has arrayed on top of this fort. And it looks about the same size it did last turn. So looks like it didn't get too much fires from the sky or anything. Something's yeah, killing. Yeah, we can take there. a look and just see what, uh, what if Pelagia is peppering oh, uh, it with anything. No, I think it just their own fire. The fire off the Archdevil was burning some vans. I, I just saw yeah. some vans. Oh, he's in bad shape. Yeah. I saw some vans light on fire. Oh, what is the damn key for? Why can't I do that? F1. I thought it was tab. What is the key to toggle? I just like my brain slipped. Um, show command. Oh, C. Okay. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like things yeah, have been yeah. flames from the sky here. I'm, I, I think these guys just have yeah disease or something if they're not full HP. <clears throat> yeah. And Pangea is on top of this one, which is interesting. Because I was thinking uh, Vanheim yeah. was going to move here. But they must have coordinated, and Pangea said, no, I got this one. Maybe, yeah. That's what it looks like. Definitely what it looks like. And that's interesting, too, because uh, this is a kind of important route to get. Like, this is blocked off, so you'd have to go come over here and go through. I don't know how uh, Vanheim's going to navigate. I, got, I mean, he has to go through here. But he's got a lot of stuff over here he may need to mobilize. Yeah, yeah, it does sort of limit his yeah. direction, but um, let's see if there's anything else that has happened. Not a whole heck of a lot. I think this is a finished turn for him mostly. Oh no, maybe not. Yeah, the... Just some guides on hide. There's not actually a ton. I mean, aside from casting these, there's really not that much that's happening on this turn. And not a lot of action. Lots of vans. Oh, oh the hurricanes. hurricanes. I wonder if okay. this is the, the okay, dwarves so are up yet. I'm sure that's the dwarves. I don't know if all yeah, four are up. But, so we can actually see the hurricane yeah. situation. Well, yeah. we can. That's interesting. So I mean, there's a lot of few One, two. One, two. Oh, this is all the blood. This is the combination. So this is the rebirth event. But this is the combination of Psy probably mm. getting blood hunted stuff really hard with uh, Armageddon coming down. Yeah, you can see when you do, this is okay. significant. Like getting 300 population every turn, you're not going to be able to Armageddon things into nothing with Rebirth on. So that was only two hurricanes yeah, for him. Many. Well, he doesn't have that many coastal yeah. provinces, though. Well, no, actually, he does because he's now got oh, ponds. Right. And he's got, a, we didn't look at this, he's I'm got a thinking little there's only... here. Oh. oh, this is cool. Yeah. He's got this guy with the crown of bones for undead command. And this guy with a, a wave breaker. Wave breaker. Okay. And some storm demons. This guy with a water thing scripted that, to retreat. Uh, this guy without mm, any gems. No gem. I'm very confused by this because he's got like a script he can't execute and nobody here with gems to, to let him. Yeah, it looks like something didn't yeah. get there. It's kind of what it looks like to me. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, well, there's the guy with gems, the water gems, Dita there. All right, yeah, that's the other thing about life after death is you can sneak these guys underwater now without gear. 
So maybe that's the plan. Yeah, we'll have to see. But I, I guess it's going to be a quick one. So it's better than not having a turn at all. But sadly, we don't get to see a lot of the Van Heim, uh, Pangea, uh, uh, Pelagia conflict. Any any uh, no. closing thoughts, Marilyn? Um, um, can you just pop back to the uh, the message screen? Just scroll over it. Was there anything? I wanted to look at one of the ones with three blood hunters briefly. So, like that one, three captured twenty three. Just glance to that problem. Uh, for three captured There's three 25, captured fourteen. Any of those? Oh yeah. Okay, so it's three. Now, interesting. He didn't put uh, dousing rods on. Yeah. Maybe because the risk of forging them is just not worth the cost. I don't think you get uh, things for blood, like uh, penalties for... No, yeah. that's right. You don't. Yeah. So I'm a little surprised they don't just all have rods. It, it only adds one more slave per successful capture. Yeah, but, it pays itself you know, back. That would add quick. up. Um, yeah. yeah. And these guys here, they're doing... We've got a mix. I mean, so this one is all pandemoniacs blood hunting and then mm. over here he's got vampires here he's got these are his little blood mules anyway i don't want to necessarily click on too much stuff and give intel away to these well this is going to go up really late well, no, yeah they won't see like it 130 the game better be yeah. bloody over before it's turn okay so we can look around if it goes to turn 131 oh my god yeah god help us <laughs> I, i'm not sure yes. it won't but it, it might uh well, what are they actually at now 109 yeah. or 108? uh right around there so and then and a week a turn so we're looking at another half a year uh don't don't say the week a turn thing it's it's killing me i've tried cracking the whip i can't because there's not actually like Sai has been great about doing his turns he's i mean he's asked for a few extensions but he's usually not the one but there's not this is the thing like a lot of times there's not actually that much going on now vanheim and pelagia there's a lot going on and a lot of it's not just mechanically doing the action. A lot of the work is actually, especially at this level, is the thinking, right? So like, okay, well, I could do this, yes. but then this would happen, but then this would happen, and I could do this to prevent that and all that. And you get, you know, it when you consider all the possible moves you could make, like all the branching moves, it's a lot. Right, right. The thinking's hard, but... Well, yeah. I have to usually... I usually have to go to sleep yeah. on it. You know, glance at it at night and then let my my nighttime dreaming mind sort of digest yeah. it and an osmosis yeah. a plan a lot of my a lot of my plans come up to me when i wake up in the morning like you're half awake yeah no i i i tend to think on it too and uh oh look he's even got this is luxury he's got a vampire lord here patrolling oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's wow. the the ultimate in blood hunting luxury i mean not the ultimate the ultimate would be if he was like grippa and wanted to put labs in all of his blood hunting provinces yeah, but it gold yeah. issues are gold issues, and if you have people game. who can magic phase rage you, it becomes a nightmare. Yeah. Well, I think yeah. that's it for anything I wanted okay. to see. Uh, it'd be a short episode. So yeah, uh, we'll see you guys next time and uh, tune back in. And I think this, I think this is our only turn we're going to need to to look at somebody else's perspective. Next time we'll be back with omniscience. Yeah, so it was interesting, but we didn't see a heck of a lot of um, seductions or hidden stuff. But we did see a little bit. It gives us a little bit of a viewpoint on that stuff that yeah. we didn't have. All right, guys. See you all next time.